All right, what's up guys? It's gonna be a quick disclaimer even before I show you this. I don't recommend anything that I'm gonna do in this video. I don't pretend that what I'm doing here is gonna be legal for the street. I don't pretend that, I don't recommend you do any of these type of fixes on your own. It's a month until our local fair does something called rough trucks. And I totaled this car based on frame rust and I ran a hitch carrier that's over there with my dirt bike on the back of it. And the frame in general, as you can see, is just horribly rotted. So I don't fully have a game plan yet, but even like this, like I was just playing a minute ago and reached up and grabbed this. And that's just, you can rip that right off if you wanted to. So, my objective Yeah, it's bad. It is really, really it's even, there's a kink right there if you can see and the same on the top from where that hitch carrier bent it down and then I've got another rot spot right in here but I love the thing and most of you guys would be like oh, I'll just pull the frame out or most of you guys would probably say to drive it off a cliff and never look at it again but some of you'd say pull the frame out put a new frame in and that's eventually what the objective is to do with this car eventually the objective with this car is to build it pretty pretty substantially with solid axles a v8 right now it's got the 3.5 in line 5 really weak motor but in this kind of probably one or two videos here i'm gonna more of a comedy type videos show you how i'm gonna try and get this ready for hartford fair rough trucks and if you guys want to come out if you're in ohio august 10th i'm gonna try i'll update but try to run this thing at hartford fair probably total it probably not going to be good if i can fit in it with a helmet but this will be the the video of me trying to make it work first step feels like i should see how much of this frame is actually gone That's what working on cars in Ohio is like. So now once you know how that your car's really mint and you don't really have that much work to do, then you get out the old <coughs> Harbor Freight buzzsaw. Make sure you, you don't move your wiring harnesses out of the way. Just go right up through them. <coughs> Alright boys, did a little bit of cleaning up work here. So it is pretty substantially bad under here you know i don't know how much of this showed up before i know i must have with the air hammer a little or the air saw a little bit but essentially i don't, I don't care too much about anything behind this you know i'm not going to be hauling anything with this right now i'd love to be able to use that hitch carrier again someday but i might have to put a whole new freaking carrier on the back of this but for now Obviously, my leaf spring needs to be solid. So, all right, the second day of working on this, we got a new moral support dog out here. Tried a couple tools yesterday on cutting some of this frame away. Didn't have a ton of luck. So I went to the Harbor Freight last night. I've been eyeing this one for a while. All in, I think I was 30 bucks. I got a pivoting base there teflon it up put it into this straight die grinder and got this cutoff wheel adapter up here this is a this is a safety glasses unit if i've ever seen one and we're gonna see how that works for for cutting out that frame and then i think i'll be able to put this piece of square tube 
cut like the top of it, make a U channel, and hopefully fill the bottom of that, and then gusset the sides to some capacity. But we're gonna do what we can. for a good long while probably not going to videotape much of the second side either because today is sunday and hartford fair rough trucks is next friday so should have plenty of time to finish it but it's not going to be any any mess around time because i still got a couple other things like this here then it's going to fly off on a jump but as you can see i cut this out There'll be pictures of these pieces in here, I'm sure. It's not great, guys, I'm aware. Um, butts up there. Comes in, I cut out where I stopped having clean metal. I'll see what I can do up top there, if that's even going to be weldable. Comes through, I'll fill this. Come across here, I will have to grind some of this bullshit down. There's going to be a plate covering all this, all the way up. I'll show you that in a second. Comes up, I got a new... These are WFO Concepts leaf spring hangers. So I got one of them here. Got these off of eBay. Really nice quality on these. Got some bushings. Those 916s and whatever metric size was on here. I think maybe a 15. Something like that. 14 or 15. Those will match up perfectly. There'll be maybe a little bit of slot, but it's good enough for good enough for this kind of project. Coming off of there, I'll come out off this tab and reinforce that back into the bottom. Then I've got this piece, which I will, it's all, this is not fit up yet. So that's obviously gonna have to drop to, to match that edge. I'm gonna have to grind this a little more. That'll go in, we'll fill all that. Then that's back to starting point at least. Grind down the welds a little bit. And then at the Center for Automotive Research there, I plasma cut out this. It goes around that brake mount just because I really don't care to mess with it. So, it's not lined up great, but you get the idea. Um, let me drop down a little bit. Yeah, this one might be... I oh, I put it on the wrong way. There's your first time that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Once it's put on the right way, that hole, I'll drill out a little bit more for that bumper mount, but put these holes in so I got extra area to weld. Braces it all the way up to here. I'll cover that bottom. And then I got some thicker plate. I'll cut out some stuff for the other inside. But yeah, time to, time to fit and tack. You'll see that in a minute with it maybe horribly welded. This is pretty much just derby welding. It's not pretty. Those are some of the better ones, to be honest with you. At the end of the day, I know that every piece of this is tied back to something stronger than it was. So I am happy with that. I am gonna start grinding these face welds down, especially over here where that hole is. I'm getting ready to put this plate on. All right, final look. Hopefully I, I've got, it's Monday now, so hopefully I can get the other side done by by Thursday night here or Friday's when I gotta have it done really but don't rest my welds put the bushing in there still gotta bolt the leaf spring back up I put kind of a gusset there horrible welds on that that was not enjoyable did that the wrong way but 
got to do it wrong once to learn so there's the there's the patch i'm sure she'll handle this air time i'm about to get real good now stay tuned for that